Hey, Colin, anything peculiar ever happened to you at that nightclub? You mean besides being picked up by two chicks at the same time? I chuckled at this. Yeah, like these weird chills or pokes or seeing stuff move around on its own. Dude, next time drink less. You know I barely drink at all, so no, it wasn't that. I just saw something move around on its own in the bar, and I was wondering if you'd ever seen that kind of behavior before. Really can't say that I have. You think the place might be haunted? I can't say for sure. It's not like I intentionally go around and actively commune with ghosts and spirits, nightmares notwithstanding. But this was some next-level crap, and I want to find out what's going on. You ever consider, Jill said from her little eavesdropping alcove, ever think that maybe you shouldn't be meddling in this kind of thing? I, for one, would want nothing to do with the ghost. I don't care what they might have to say or what they want from us. I was kind of surprised by this. Jill was a reasonably strong-minded, albeit theological person. I would have assumed that such faith would extend to belief in ghosts. I relate this to her. Not every ghost is going to be Casper. Hitchhikers will screw you up bad. Hitchhikers, Colin asked. Those are ghosts that latch onto a living person and follow them around, she said. She visibly shivered. They start to permeate everything in your life, your dreams. They're a bitch to get rid of if they don't want to leave. Sounds like you've had personal experience, I said. More than I care to think about, Jill replied. But that was many years ago. If you think there's a ghost in that place, you should leave it alone. They can't do anything for you and can offer you nothing. But oh, can they take, take, take. Wall of Ghosts by Joseph McAvoy. Available for purchase on Kindle and Amazon Direct.